Someone is filing liens on homes in Charlotte asking for half a million dollars. A one homeowner told me she only found out about the lien because she was trying to take out a loan on her home. Well, my investigation uncovered the group that's doing this is one that we have reported on before. Freedom Park in Dilworth is surrounded by pricey homes, and somebody wants a piece of those homes, filing liens for half a million dollars each. The closing attorney called us and said, are you aware of a lien on your home? This homeowner does not want to show her face, afraid the group will file more liens. She and other neighbors got this letter in the mail this spring from the Cherokee Nation of the Moors. It calls Charlotte the Imperial City, saying the empire of the Aboriginal Moors has been resurrected and homes on their land owe a sovereign soil tax of half a million dollars. I just thought it was ridiculous. It just seemed like such an incredible claim. I spoke to three other neighbors who also had these liens put on their homes. The paperwork lists 401 Hawthorne Lane as the address to send payment to the Cherokee Nation, so I went there. This is the address listed for Cherokee Nation of Moors here in Charlotte. It's just a P.O. box inside this UPS store. So I called the Moorish Science Temple of America, and they called the people filing these liens paper terrorists. So now they seek to prey upon the people who are paying taxes, who is trying to be law-abiding citizens. None of them has anything to do with the more scientific America, but they use the key term Moorish to justify what they're trying to steal. I emailed the person who filed these liens, and the response I got back was from a name we're very familiar with here at Channel 9. It says Empress Ninti L. Bay, and her response to me, she threatened to sue me, just like she threatened to sue Channel 9 a few years ago. I'm lawfully here. Yeah. Ninti L. Bay is the same woman that we investigated in 2015 after she laid claim to a foreclosed home in Piper Glen, even moving in. She was later convicted of trespassing and breaking and entering. This latest lien filing also lays claim to almost every home surrounding Freedom Park, including Todd Nutty's. If you just can file paperwork, I would think the people at the city should be more uh, observant as to what gets filed. But the Mecklenburg County Register of Deeds says anyone can file a lien on a home as long as they pay the fee and fill out the paperwork properly. And if it happens to you, you won't even be notified. Well, they're completely bogus. In this case, sure. attorney Zach Moretz um, says homeowners can feel better knowing these liens have no teeth. Anyone who has that uh, filed on their property should not be concerned that there's any validity to it at all. Certainly not. Now, if you think there is a false lien on your home, you can hire an attorney and get a court order to have that removed, or you can file what's called an information sheet that goes into your records and you indicate that lien is a false one. You can also file a complaint with the attorney general's office if you'd like.